Hello everyone and welcome back to Silent Hill 2 Remake. This is episode 4. Last time we navigated through the Woodside Apartments, meeting Eddie, and then eventually crossing over into Otherworld for the first time in the Blue Creek Apartments. Uh, entering Otherworld a little bit earlier than we did in the original. Very, very interesting, uh, but also I think quite fitting. Uh, so everything's falling apart much, much more in this location. And we've got a little puzzle, a little riddle, some stuff to solve here. We have first comes their leader. Most crucial his quest, his pace slow but steady. He's now heading west. And that's talking about the hour hand because we've got a drawing of a clock. And we've definitely got a clock underneath a blanket here. So we're going to be solving a puzzle at the beginning of this one. The nimblest one climbed, stumbled through thin air. He's not fallen yet, but he's halfway there. And the one that remains can't make up her mind. 25 steps ahead or five steps behind. So the nimblest one, um, let's go and take a look. Let's take this off. Hello. We're able to uh, do this. However, we need the actual clock hands. So it seems it's uh, similar to the, you know, the clock puzzle from the original game. Should be able to traverse through there once we have our items. It is very dark tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like I can't see shit. <laughs> I can't see anything. Gamma is at two. God damn. And uh, it's, yeah, it's simply just dark tonight. It's dark in the other world. I wonder why. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't knock on the door, right? I'm alone here. There's no one else here. H for uh, the horny room. Right, James? Repressed feelings? Oh, okay. Okay. Someone was knocking on that door. Surely they can open it for me from the inside. Hello? I'd like to enter your H room, please. Oh, no. Let's not do that. What if we... Oh. oh. God, I can't fucking see. Oh, my God. They... No, why? I'm going to die. I can't see. They... They made my flashlight die. The game made my flashlight die. <laughs> you fuckers. You absolute numpties. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. So they're going to hit me with that. Don't do that. They're going to hit me with the god damn light going out. And immediately I'm dead. I'm trying not to chug down my health drinks because I'm weak. And I don't have many. This game's draining me of all that I have. Alright, fuck you. Better kill this thing quick. I missed on that bullet. Why did it take my, uh, why did it turn my fucking flashlight off? I did not even have my, uh, did not even have my hand on the right thumbstick, so I didn't turn it off myself. He's like, you took too long to kill it. Let's make it scarier. Let's turn off your flashlight. Get that shit open. He was simply just watching TV. 
apparently. be needing that. Oh, 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 ah! ah! Are we in Max Payne's house now? What's going on here? We're gonna go and walk into the bedroom to discover my dead wife. Max Payne to the list of uh, characters in the Where's My Wife fit. Ah, oh. <laughs> not the classic symbol monkey. Oh, 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 oh. No, in fact, I'd rather you didn't. <coughs> oh, it's gonna blow up. I can't believe that they added that. Pretty sure if I even walk on it. I'll take damage, right? I want to hit it to be sure that it's dead. Don't get back up. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Everywhere, you're like, there should be health in here, I reckon. They're like, what if it was bullets? What if actually there were bullets? How would you feel if they were just bullets? I can't believe it's just bullets. Ah, uh, the classic Silent Hill wheelchair routine, eh? I'm not falling for this. Uh, we got to learn our lesson from Happy Burger. You, if an enemy's on the ground and it's dead, you can't hit it. It's going to get up if it wants to, regardless of what we do. I don't gulp that down. If he wants to get up after I've already smacked him, he can do that. So can this guy. And they will, won't they? And they will. You can't even get this one. Oh, and the third one. Right, we're oh, and a fourth one, and a fifth one with legs. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah. What if I simply run away? What if I simply run away? You can't fit through here, can you? Loser! Loser! Can't fit through the fucking hole in the wall. Screw you! Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Dude, why is the remake so cruel? It's adding so many more enemies. <laughs> oh my god, it's adding so many more! <laughs> you know what? Fuck this game. It's actually so much, so much scarier than the original, dude. What the fuck? Oh no, he was already dying! <laughs> One shot to the head, I came, went to go and finish him off. Ah, oh, I took damage for nothing. God damn this game being scarier than the original. Ah, oh, there's too many of these fuckers and they could all get up at any time. I love the classic I'm injured, grab my left torso. James and Leon Kennedy just hanging out, being injured together. Oh, yeah, fucking. You're gonna blow up? What are you doing? You're gonna blow up? I just wanted to try this door. Great, well, now I'm in here. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Oh. 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 James. 
<laughs> Fuck you, you loser. I've outsmarted you. What is that? Why is there a radio up there in a cage? All right, we're just going to hide here. We're just going to hide in here. No one will find us in the kitchen. Shoot the light on James. <laughs> For God's sake. Thank you. Oh, but you need in that. Radio. Oh, it's got a fucking clock hand. Oh, my controller is vibrating with the music. That's so fun. My DualSense controller is vibrating with every note of this song. How fun is that? I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that hand on that clock. Alright, let's bring this shit down. I haven't noticed the music vibrating my controller before, so this is definitely a first. I'm loving all of the art pieces that we can see too. Oh man, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, the additions that have been made here is incredible. We need a valve. Bloody hell. Before we do that, I want some cereal. I'm going to quickly pop my head back out of here. Just to go down here, because I believe, yeah, we haven't gone down here yet. Just before we go through there, I'm going to take a peek. Let's play the guessing game. Which one's going to get up? I think it's going to be that one. <laughs> get up. I was right, I was right, I was right. I knew it would be that one. <laughs> I was like, guess again, it's gotta be that fucker. He just looked like he was gonna move. All right, I got some more bullets. Fuck this. The third person, uh, you know, more huddled in camera angle really, really works. My thing, oh my fucking God. You fucking game. Alright, I'm trapped in here now. I got the key to 306. How nice. Just put on a nice unassuming table for me. And we have a valve. Get it, boy. Will ya? Give me that. No? Damn. Alright. Thought I'd be taking that valve to the other one. Okay, so now I've come back around here. Gotcha. So. But where are the other ones that were just. I can hear them. 
I didn't think I'd be back here, so I, I just ran. Thinking that I'd leave these enemies behind, but I can hear them. Oh, 306 key, right? No, wait. Hang on a minute. Uh, yes. Over this way. 306 key. Fuck, I left these enemies alive. Oh, the legs. The legs are up. The legs are up. Hold on. Shut the fucking door, bitch! Oh my god. Oh. Wait, you didn't open the door! You didn't open the door! Oh, no! I didn't think you could! No, wait! Another one stood up! Stop it! <laughs> no! There's one crawling on the fucking floor! Get away from me! <laughs> Stop it! Right this fucking second. Oh my god, bro. Fuck. I was like, if I turn the light off and walk real quiet, like, he's not gonna come and see me. And I was wrong. And then all of his friends wanted to make sure that I was wrong. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> okay. So anyway... I survived. Now I'm crawling under here like some goddamn dog. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why did the flashlight? Ah! Why did the flashlight have to, I mean the light bulb, have to go out as soon as I got here? Who left their handprint? Because I know it wasn't that thing, because that thing don't have any hands, it's only got legs. <sighs> Where'd you go? Is there a lot of mirrors in here, dude? Where'd you fucking go? You're different. You're not even the fucking legs. Pretty sure you're dead now. Oh, oh. Uh, I got scared by the acid on the floor. Relax, everybody. Where did it go? Oh. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> why is the why is the music doing that? I've killed the enemies. We're fine. Relax. James already has enough bad luck. Why not add seven more years? Give me that. <laughs> James, get in there. Give me that. All we know is it's as long as we have more bullets, we're fine. More bullets, please. None of this health crap. Just give me more bullets. There's spirits in these mirrors. Don't let them look at you. And where they really weren't joking about that old bullets thing. Uh, we're rocking a nice casual 41 with a total of 51 right now loaded in that gun. All right, another valve. Let's give her a spin. Uh God, dude, the way that it fucking explodes. I can take this one with me. Nice. Thank you. All right. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to sing Blue Team's praises in terms of uh, the things that they've added in this over the original because uh, so far all of it fits so well. It's very effective. Well done, you fucking assholes. All right, where are we going? No, no, no! Music, settle. Music, be quiet. I have to, I have to focus. No! Why is it coming for me? I didn't even go outside. Leave me alone. I can't believe how good at boxing these things are. They don't even have hands. They're crazy. All right. Go down. Um, we want to go to 307. God, I got to go through all of that again. Ay, ay, ay. This is the wrong way. It's this way. How do you do? Nothing to see here. I'm the new neighbor. Howdy. Oh, there's one on the floor. I want to talk. I'm just going to go back to my house. Okay. Now of this bad boy. Wait, does it sound like I'm about to get attacked? Are you going to make me spin this multiple times while I constantly feel like I'm going to get clawed from behind? It's like on the, the enemy's like on the other side of the wall, so... Give me that. Give me the hour hand. Give it to me. Here we go. Onward. H on door. That's an apt little description there, buddy. Uh, I'm going to save my game if I know what's good for me. We can put the hour hand on. Okay. I'm ready. Um... Wait, who put this back on? <laughs> what? Who put this back on? Oh, it must have been... I, I died, didn't I? Okay, we put the hour hand on. So the first part of this... First part of this is, first comes their leader. Most crucial his quest, his pace slow but steady, he's now heading west. So it does mention like a minute hand and a second hand but we just don't have them yet so I guess we've got to go and get them in terms of heading west we'd... oh for god's sake all right we put that at nine congratulations there you go ring a ding ding and then I guess we We'd want to get the minute hand, put it at halfway there, so we'll put it at six, and then I think it's going to have a second hand as well. What do we do now? Because I don't have those hands on me. So there, oh, so there's an M on door and then a H on door. But we already have the hour hand, so H wouldn't stand for hour. But M could stand for minute. Alright, hang on a minute. 
If, if it stands for minute, it might be... Oh, actually, hang on. It might stand for H because it unlocks once you do... Yeah, it unlocks once you do the hour hand and then maybe I'll get the minute hand in there and then that'll unlock the minute hand door. Gotcha. All right, that's what the M and the H are for. I've outsmarted you, video game. Gotcha. All right. So you get the hour hand. It opens up the hour door. We'll go get the minute hand, put it in the clock, get the, uh, that sorted out, and then we can go get the second hand. Well, I hate that. Honestly, strongest piece of wood ever, dude. It feels like this would be one of those, um, like, metal pipe scenarios that you would upgrade this weapon to, you know, to be able to smack open these walls. Surprise at the strength of this wooden thing. Oh, you are not going to make, they're going to make me do it. They're going to make me do it. They're going to make me do it. I thought when we were in that safe room, they were like referencing James shoving his hand in the toilet. Because... <sighs> In the original, you put your hand in there, and that's the, the safe code, if I recall correctly. And you open up the safe, you get some bonus stuff. And they're making us do it anyway. Roll up your sleeve, you asshole. Ugh. Roll it up! Luba team, you had one job. Make him roll up his sleeve before he does this shit. No! No! I'm gonna get sucked in train spotting style. Oh, the scar! Oh, look out! Oh. <coughs> <Ooh. laughs> I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> There's the minute hand, by the way. Oh, I need a minute. I'll tell you that much. I need a minute. It's all poopy, and now uh, I can't go back. Oh, man. What the fuck happened? In the time it took me to... Oh, God. In the time it took me to shove my little jacket... Pigeon figurine. I'll take it. Oh, he was full poop hands, dude. Like, it wasn't just, like, a little wet. He was full poop hands. And stay out. You didn't knock first. Oh, I thought that would knock him over. Okay. What is this? Oh, I need stuff. All right. I need a swan. A lot of birds in here. Well, that's not gonna work. Am I in? Okay. Seesaw. Honestly, again, got to sing the praises of Bluber. Not only did they make me put the hand in the toilet, which I actually was like, ah, oh, they didn't do it. They changed it. They doubled down uh, and they did it. They made it look absolutely fucking disgusting. And James just carelessly poopy hands the thing. That's how much James just does not care to be in silent. You know, he's got to find Mary and he will put his hand in any amount of toilet without rolling up his sleeve to get there. I really don't care. <clears throat> Alright, well now we gotta find our way back to the clock. Um, I guess we can go this way. Do that to get to 211. Let's go down here. We do that. You ever just expect the door to be locked so you're just barging on in?
They kept the whispering, you fuck. They kept the whispering. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm gonna be Leonardo DiCaprio pointing meme at so many things. But in like a way that feels good. Screw you game. Pick that up. Again, I thought that I wouldn't hear it because I was I thought that that was at the other apartment. Woodside Hotel. Turns out they got me. Put it in here. Don't turn off my flight. Look, it, the game is turning off my flashlight. Don't do it. You f dickhead. <laughs> Malformed figurine. The real one's gonna be right behind me! Okay, never mind. Oh! He was right behind me, wasn't he? Come here, you! I'm gonna finish you off melee style because I wasted a bullet before. God damn it. <laughs> as soon as I was like, there's a fake out mannequin, I'm like, the real enemy will be behind me. Sometimes as much as a game can be unpredictable, it will still be predictable sometimes. You just can't help it. Not even in a bad way. It's just like I'm an excitedly anticipating that predictability <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> All right, give me that. All right, hand it over. I'll take it. And we'll go this way. So I got a malformed figurine. Um, that's not a swan. I guess it'll become a swan. I gotta combine it with something else. Let me in here. Hello? See you there. See you. Are you real? Yeah, you're a f you're moving and everything. Oh the wait! No! That's two of them. Give me that. Give me that swan head. Alright. Let me mix it together with that. Now if that ain't a metaphor for Silent Hill, I don't know what is. One side normal, but the other side like this. Creepy. Transformed. Very cool. I like it. Um... I yeah. Give me that. Now, from here, time to figure out how to get back to the clock. Back this, this way, I, hang on, did I miss a door? Hang on a second. Hold on a minute. Where am I? Will I be able to go back to the H door? No, because it's blocked now. Oh, 
Cold War game. Oh, hang on. This uh, Cold War. Oh, hang on. Silly me. For some reason, my brain um, put the seesaw door around the clock hand. I know where I'm going. Let me back here. This guy. Get on there. Well, that's not balanced at all. Oh. I choose where it goes. I choose it where it goes. It's. Here you go. Oh! That's fun. I like that. Our winged key. So, that goes to this door. Mm. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, you, you must think I'm crazy if I'm going to jump down that hole. All right, I'm crazy. You making me jump in holes now? The journey that I'm going to have to do to get back. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it when it's it looks like a thousand xenomorphs just got displayed. Oh, it's the original coin puzzle. It's the original coin puzzle. Silent Hill 2 jingle. I like that. I think what I truly love about what I've experienced of this remake so far is that it's so incredibly faithful that don't get your pitchforks out but it is a very good remake in the sense that you could recommend it to people that haven't played the original without doing the just play the original first god damn it like it genuinely has that feeling of effectiveness that uh, I'm actually so interested in people that are playing this game for the first time and haven't touched Silent Hill before. And that's actually a, a, a very huge thing that we have to like consider is there hasn't been a full Silent Hill game, you know, a fully priced by this Silent Hill game since Downpour, which was in 2012, if we're not counting the PS Vita Book of Memories thing, which I think was like 2013. Uh, and then obviously there was PT, which was like a free demo, which sticks in everyone's minds. And a lot of people haven't been able to like experience that. Even I didn't experience the original PS4 version of that. I experienced like a recreation Unreal Engine or like a Unity uh, fan made version of it that was still really effective and was awesome. I loved it, but I haven't played the true PS4 version of PT because you just can't get it. Uh, so this is like Silent Hill coming into the mainstream in a huge way because the reviews are uh, having a lot of people being like, well, I guess I got to try it out. And I think it's going to have that same level of impact that Resident Evil 2 Remake had in bringing back uh, that series, like a revitalization, if you will. Uh, so I know Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2 Remake sort of both got that treatment in their own ways. Those were both the revitalization of that series. But I think Silent Hill 2 Remake and the planned new entries into the series is going to be huge, uh, which matters way more for Silent Hill than it does for Resident Evil because Silent Hill was always like the underdog and the one that never sold anywhere near as much. So this is great. I'm celebrating how I how good I feel about this remake, I think, People who haven't even played the series could play this one and then potentially play Silent Hill 1 as a remake if it gets that far. I'm kind of waiting for that bloober announcement almost any day now, you know. <laughs> but I think it's faithful enough to the original where it's not a replacement. Like, I would still enjoy playing the original, uh, but I think you could definitely recommend it to, to people to play uh, that are new to the series. And then for people that have played it, there's so much here that's rewarding for returning players as well. Uh, like there are those visual callbacks, there's like references to previous things, but uh, also everything is uh, almost always how you remember it or when it's not, it's kind of excitingly different. And I, I think that's 
one of my favorite remake approaches where it's not afraid to uh, step out of a very rigid, everything has to be one-to-one -one exactly the same, uh, but just looking better. I, I think that those are my preferred remakes. Like Metal Gear Solid Delta is going to be basically what it, well, I mean, it is, it's going to be a one-to-one -one remake, um, retaining the voice acting, all of the performances, animations, all that kind of stuff. Um, maybe some new voice acting is for platform specific things, I think. Uh, but then we're also going to just have the exact same game, but looking much prettier. And I'm not opposed to that at all. It'd be a very interesting way to play it. It's just such a curious approach for Konami to be doing two remakes in completely different ways. I will be happily consuming both. Just totally ignored that one eleven door. Oh. Oh. Well then, it's blocked. Yeah, I will uh, happily, 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 happily uh, play a Silent Hill 1 remake with this approach. Because I love Silent Hill 1 on PS1. I love it. I even enjoyed Shattered Memories to an extent, which was a very weird kind of remake of that game. Uh, you know, like I say, in its weird way. But to play Silent Hill 1 like this, oh, I would be ecstatic. I'd be over the moon to play Silent Hill 1 three, and even four like this. Uh, honestly, as much as uh, we'd think that maybe Silent Hill 1 could be the next remake, with what I've seen aesthetically and visually of Silent Hill 2 remake so far, I actually think that they could do Silent Hill 4, The Room, as uh, a remake. Oh. I'll shut up now. Oh, it's you. Yeah. I'm James. Angela. Angela. Okay. Look, I'm not sure what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? What's the point? It's easier just to run. Maybe it's all we deserve. We? Me. You. We're all the same. I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? No. Not yet. Did she live here? In this building? I don't know. So all you know is that she lived in this town? What did you say? How did you know that? Well, I just figured because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Sorry. person that you were looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She... 
She died three years ago. She's dead? Oh, don't worry, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think so. We have to find my mama. Uh, should I go with you? This town really is dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. No, it's okay. I... Besides, I'd just slow you down. What, what, what about that? I... Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. No! I'm sorry! I've been bad! Please don't! Angela, dude. God damn. That scene still just as impactful. That was a gorgeous scene. There were some really cool shots in there too. I love the face reflecting in the knife and then the split mirror shot was really, really good. I was wondering if they were going to keep the same like her going like <gasps> and like freaking out with the knife because that scared the shit out of me <laughs> in, the, in the original because I was so absorbed in that scene that I just didn't expect it to just like shock me with uh, a fast movement like that. God. I'm glad that they've actually kept a reflection as well. As you know how sometimes modern video games they just go, here's your fake out reflection. Because for some reason the game can't handle it. <laughs> You can damage it. <laughs> uh, that scene, really, really good. Love that. We have a key of resilience found in apartment 109, where I met Angela. And uh, we have Angela's knife. It feels heavier than it looks. Stained handkerchief feels very familiar. Feels familiar. Flip that bad boy over. All right, let's leave. God, I wasn't expecting the Angela scene then. That's why I was I was just yapping about what I'm appreciating about this. Um, I'm really, really appreciating. It. So good. And again, a scene like that is entirely why it's just still so powerful. And knowing what I know about. Angela, when when you're like going through this now, it's uh, it's just sad. Okay. Well, we should be able to go down this way now. We've got the key. There's no way you're missing this scene. I'm clenched. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what was that? Those were big stomps. Is that pyramid head? Is he stomping around? I don't know if I can take that. Uh, we found an S door, second hand. Just to close out my thoughts, now that cutscene's over on uh, Silent Hill being back and remakes and all that, we're living in the best timeline because not only are we getting Silent Hill 2 remake, it's not just remakes, right? Like, it's not like, ah, 
what if we can can we get a new game it's like they announced it with new games as well we're getting like townfall we're getting silent hill f uh, and those two seem really 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 promising because i love what annapurna put out and people are uh, really enjoying uh the the author of like a visual novel or something like that for for silent hill f i'm not too knowledgeable about that but it's getting a lot of hype just with the name attached to it so uh we get to witness remakes but also new stories within the silent hill universe as well that seem promising so i'm glad that we're getting both and it's not and it's not just remakes as well i will welcome both happily Vers la flamme, Alexander Scriabin. Uh, more music. It's our second music sheet that we've seen. Thank you. I needed that. James sees a dirty needle and he's like, yummy. Bit stuttery. Who was that? Oh, it was you, you asshole. See there. Oh, what's that? Hey, forever together. Hmm, a six, but also... Interesting. An arrow? Wait a minute, if we look at the other one, is this one is four, and this one is six. But what if the arrow means that one is a six and one is a nine? I guess we'll find out. Still don't even know what it's for, if anything, as well, so. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I see. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. This is the uh, this is the room that you fight Pyramid Head in. Huh? What the hell? In the original game, this is the Pyramid Head fight room. This is filled with water, and then he goes down and goes. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't expect to be coming up from this room. The fuck? Huh. That's fun. I like that sort of thing where there's bits and pieces from the original uh, in terms of locations and. The architecture that you can recognize, but they clearly really wanting to do something uh, maybe a little different. So we might be fighting him in a different type of room, you know? Okay. Um, let's put that minute hand on, and it's going to be halfway. Gonna be halfway? It didn't make the noise. Hold on. The nimblest one climbed. Oh, maybe the second hand. Oh, hang on. Maybe the the second hand would be the nimblest one, wouldn't it? The one that remains can't make up her mind. Twenty-five steps ahead or five steps behind. So, either twenty-five steps ahead of halfway. So it would be on the eleven hand or five steps behind. Uh, five minutes, so it could be... No, wait, one... Okay, hang on. Twenty-five steps ahead or five steps behind can't make up her mind. Oh my lord. Um 
because I thought it would have been at this halfway point, but I guess that must be the second hand. Because I'm expecting it to have the same re response that the hour hand did, where it like freaks out. Because if it's 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 is, would be 25 steps ahead of 30. Or if it's 5 behind, it would be here. Unless it's from this hand. Or is it from this hand? God. I think I'm just misinterpreting the goddamn thing. I don't know why we can keep looking at that like that though. We have to figure it out so we can get the second hand door open. It's the nimblest one climbed, stumbled through thin air. He's not fallen yet, but he's halfway there. Oh, hang on a second. If we're gonna if maybe That might put it at, that might put the minute hand on 15 if he's halfway from falling. So it might be there, which means he could be 25 steps ahead. Or, yeah, oh, there you go, five, five steps behind. Okay, so that makes sense. So you're gonna solve it out of order. So. The one that remains is the minute hand, and it's five steps behind the second hand, so the second hand is going to be on the three. Fifteen seconds. Alright. Done. Now, from here, we'll go back down to the seconds door. Part of me was like, what if we enter this room and then he's just standing there and then we do the boss fight? What was the noises that that door was making? Thanks. Okay. I'm coming for your second hand. Oh, what? I've missed a step. I've missed a step. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. That door should be open. I thought that door would be open because of um, the clock responding. Oh no, hang on. I got too excited, I got too ahead of myself, didn't I? Yeah, because now we go all oh, right now we go into the m room which is the is the butterfly room okay For some reason i was like looking at the map and my brain just glossed over there the fact that we needed to do the m and i went i've done the m so now i gotta go do the s <laughs> okay there we go hello hello oh now Isn't that fun? We got the Death's Head Moth. We got a tattoo of the Death's Head mod, uh, Moth on my shin. And then I have like a, I have a framed one as well. Just such cool imagery. Like genuinely you're just like, it actually has a skull on its back. I just find that to be so hardcore. There's a few of these. Two.
Okay, I see. So, the moon plus the skull minus the eye, or the sun, whatever. The eye times the skull, so we have to find... Oh, and then the other one is skull plus moon divide by... Oh, man. Um, they hit me with those hard puzzles. Let's... Well, I almost want to say that that's one, that's two, and that's three, just by placement alone, you know what I mean? But let's take a look around first. I also still need to put my hole in the... my hand in the hole. Let's go put our hand in the hole first. I've turned this whole room into a puzzle room. Okay, so... One frame has the death head and the moon together. And then this has them all in a line. And then we can inspect them. Oh, count the... Oh, I we count the number of them and then the total number of them equals what number they are. So the I one is one, two, three. Unless we're only counting the ones that we can examine. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we can examine all of those. One, two, three. Okay, so the... I'm just going to call it the eye moth, because they look like eyes, uh, is three. The death's head mod is, moth is two. The moon is three. Right. Unless there's more. Hold on. And then we get to Mathen. <sighs> yeah, so Death's Head Moth, there's two of those. There's three of the moons. Three of the suns. So two, three, three. So now we have to find this out. So moon, which is two, uh, plus death's head. Oh, sorry, moon, which is three, plus two, minus two. Oh, sorry, minus three. So that'll take us to two. And then uh, three times two is six. Minus three, and then, um, two plus three, which is five. Then it is that divided by because it's got a slash. We divide five. Doesn't work. I'm probably doing this wrong. I'm getting my calculator out. <laughs> getting my calculator out for simple maths. Um, Oh, 
Oh, maybe. Oh, hang on. It could be shit. Wait, hang on. Nope, it's not the number of moths. It's the number of actual symbols that you can see as well. Because that one has one missing and this one has two moons missing. All right, new numbers, new numbers. <laughs> All right, new numbers. Wait a sec. So Death's Head is still two, but the moon symbol is actually eight because there's two on that wing and two on that wing. So moon is eight, Death's Head is two, and eyes is one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll get our actual answers. So uh, moon is eight plus two, which is 10 minus five. So it'll be number five. And then five times two, which is 10 minus eight, which is two. And now we'll have two plus eight, which is 10 divided by five. Five, two, two. There you go. Cool. Five, two, two, baby. I'm like, it's the number of moths. No, it's the number of symbols on the moths, you idiot. There we go. Oh, and it takes us to the real hall. Butterfly Atlas. Now, real ones would be in this room and be like, where's the noise of the guy that sounds like he's jumping on the bed? <laughs> Blowing. Blowing. <laughs> Blowing. <laughs> that freaks me the hell out. Time to put my hand in a hole again. I kind of love that we do it multiple times in this game. There's multiple times where James is just uh, reaching further and further down the hole that he has dug for himself. The second hand. Uh uh. Okay, better not be fucking with me now. All right, now we get to, now we get to go. Was that there before? Did someone get a little bit aggressive with a big knife. Uh, was that there before? Am I going crazy? Go back in here, put the hand. These are in different positions. These have moved. <gasps> I wasn't crazy. He has been fucking this place up. Now the time flies. Oh, okay. That's not a number. Different. Thank you for the health drink. I know I'm going to need it. This room is getting more and more fucked up as we progress. Yeah. That the other world transitions. I've reached my maximum amount of save files. <laughs> Infinite saves. Damn it. Give it to me. All right. Time to put that second hand on and then we can go down the second hand room. Uh, halfway there, so it's gonna go here. Look how it's making it peel, though. I'm doing that to the wall, but I'm like... Is it going to do anything? <laughs> That's just surface level damage. Perhaps just a reference to the original clock puzzle where like 
you do the clock hands and then you're able to like push the clock aside and go through. All right. Time to go to the second hand. I think our date is uh, coming up soon. Ah, oh, brother. <laughs> Again, I'm like expecting to walk in here and have it take place, but I think we're walking to the date. I'll be right back, everybody. I've got a date with a man who wears a bathtub on his head. Oh, this is open now. Gotcha. He's been walking. I'm calm. What's there to worry about? I can't tell you how happy I am that it's not like the blood and guts coming out of the helmet, like the redesign, but it's like, it's actually like how you'd expect it to look. Okay. Hold on, sir. You'd think I'd be more prepared for this. Hold on a minute. Why is it raining? Oh, we're outside. Slow down. Slow down a minute. No! I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't get any easier, even if you are familiar with the fact that there's going to be a pyramid head boss <laughs> from the original. All right, there. Slow down, sir. I'm catching the cack. I'm catching the cack. Oh, hey. You missed. Maybe I got to get him in the back of the head. You know what? Maybe I gotta get him in the back of the head. Whoa! Oh, that recovery time. Oh! You bastard. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, he's faster! He's sped up! <laughs> oh my god! No! Ah. Ah. Hold on a minute, brother. Let's talk it out. Oh my god. Ooh. Run! No, 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 no. I thought for sure I would get hit from like his horizontal slashes, even if I'm dodging. It's the rain. It's getting worse. Oh, that's right across the throat. No, <laughs> no. Hold on a minute. I can't even see. Oh, please, sir. I need to save these bullets for later. Oh no! Don't hit him. That's a waste of both of our time. Oh! Oh shit, I thought the boss fight was over. <laughs> oh! Okay. Woo! I think he's leaving. He is the call. I'm 
many bullets I lose from that encounter? Plenty. Past. Make your way out of Blue Creek Apartments. Fuck. And them air raid sirens coming in hot. I still thought that the boss fight was going on because we were right in front of him and he was attacking us, but that that was the call to leave. Holy shit. I do miss the classic, like, him going under the water. Disgusting. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Beautiful out here. What amazing weather we're having. We made it! Out of the Blue Creek apartments. I'm none the worse for where we found a little save point. Just a little one. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Very happy to be here. Very, very happy to be here. That was fun, stressful boss fight. He, made, he gets fucking quick, too. And the way that he grabs you and just goes for it was super fun. We've made it out of the Blue Creek Apartments, which means uh, where we find ourselves on the map is close to Rosewater Park. We can see that we've got Baldwin Mansion, nice, Jack's Inn, Moonlight Grove, the Reverie Theatre, Bolarama, the Historical Society, there's the hospital, Heaven's Night, the Lakeside Diner. Incredible. What if we, uh, what if you took a little stroll? What if we went up to Rosewater Park? What could possibly be there? Have a look in these cars, see if there's anything in there for me as well. Ah. <laughs> yep. You look at them cars and you look at them good. Understand me. Imagine if that gate was open. Saved ourselves a lot of heartache there. I see that uh, someone has implemented a mod already uh, called the Silent Hill 2 uh, HD collection. <laughs> and it just removes all the fog, which is actually crazy. Uh, I'd be looking forward to seeing uh, the town unobscured by the fog though to really take in all the details so it could be a fun little thing honestly if they made like extra features like after you complete the game you could like change the weather and effects and stuff like make it nighttime and raining um and just like change the atmosphere of it for like replays that would be really fun i think yeah we are in this spot I remember in the original I was walking up this staircase and then I tripped and fell on my face. <laughs> There's a girl on the on the wall here. What's going on with those shadows, bro? Hey. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Hey, that's not very nice. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? What you got there? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! How do you know her name? How do you know her name? Um, that thing with the shadows is definitely not supposed to happen, which is very unfortunate. I don't think that's an issue with the game, just probably how the settings are for me at the moment. Uh, I might just take a look at that. So I've messed around with some settings and I reloaded the save to play the cutscene again to see if I could fix it. It seems like the main culprit uh, in the graphic settings was the super sampling. DLSS was making it look like that and FSR 
three reduced it to kind of can't see it, but it was still there. I don't know if that scene was messed up uh, for anyone else, but I messed around with a variety of settings, ray tracing on and off, different uh, quality settings, and I couldn't eliminate it uh, by turning things off, turning other things on. Um, the only way that I could kind of reduce it a little bit was uh, the super sampling and changing that. It might just be a weird scene in general, but I guess I shall switch to that. Uh, maybe that'll get rid of some awkward shadowing. Uh, even bumping up the, the shadows and the shaders and stuff like that, uh, even higher, did not improve it. Unfortunate. We've had our encounter with Laura. Again, they hit me with the, like, the gasping wisp. You bastards. <laughs> Again, something I just really appreciate about this game is the ability to enter these uh, areas and just have free control of the camera to look into these environments. It really is amazing. Do mind if I do? Look around everywhere in this place. Just to see if there's other things lying around. We had the syringes. What else could there possibly be? That is so weird. <laughs> oh, I guess it's a little sprinkler. My brain is going, shouldn't this be like a bigger little fountain? But no, it's a little sprinkler. Pete's Bolarama. Welcome to Silent Hill, the quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. There's no better place than here to let go of your busy schedules and finally enjoy a relaxing vacation. Rows of quaint rustic houses mark a gorgeous mountain landscape, and as the dawn turns to dusk, the surface of Toluca Lake shines a whole range of dreamlike colors. Silent Hill will move you and fill your heart with peace. We're more than certain your time here will be pleasant, leave you with memories that will stay with you forever. We will not shatter those memories. It's never too late for quiet cocktails. Tree and vintage. Tea's Italian restaurant. Jack's in boat trip. Silent Hill Historical Society, the story of yesterday. Pete's Bolorama is a great place for everyone to spend an amazing time. We have all kinds of food in our cafeteria like pizza, <laughs> burgers, and french fries with drinks. How could you sit here at a time like this and eat pizza? Neely's Girls' Night every weekend. Happy hour at Neely's Bar every Friday, and that means half price for beer. Neely's have a wide range of top beers. You have to check. Curve around here. We got some nice headless statues over there. This is it. Mary. Oh, could you really be here? Mary, could you really be here? All of the headless statues ever, even the horse. Patrick Chester, son of Edward, he fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. And if I do, got myself some bullets. And then there's the gate, but I reckon we'll go through that gate on the way back through. I'd pay to use this, but I don't think I'd see much.
way. Rotting ice cream cones. Walk to the end of this. Walk to the end of the pier. <gasps> Ooh, okay, she's at the end of the pier. Mary? like your girlfriend. No, my late wife. I can't believe it. Your face, your voice, you could be... My her. name is Maria. I don't look like a ghost, do I? <laughs> See? Warm. Sorry, I got confused. Hey, where are you going? I need to find Mary. Didn't you say she died? Oh. Yeah. Three years ago. It's it's just... I got a letter from her. A letter? I know how it sounds. I'm not... I don't... Hey. It's okay. So, what did the letter say? She said she was waiting for me in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? I, uh... I don't know anymore. something I just I can't quite hey I think I might know I mean there's this one place not far from here what kind of place the kind two lovers might call special I can show you if you want Unless you have somewhere else to be. Something else to do. Hey, <laughs> easy there. I'm just messing with you. Come on. It's this way. You're coming with me? Can't you just tell me where it is? <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here? Alone? With all these monsters around? No, I, I just... Is it because... I remind you of... her? You loved her, didn't you? Didn't you? Alright, just... So it's okay. Yeah. Perfect scene, no notes. <laughs> ah, is that a light from a lighthouse out in the distance? Perfect scene. Oh man, she, she's good. That voice acting is good, too. The way that oh, let's go. The, the animations that play between them, all the subtle details as well, how he cannot take her eyes, so he cannot take his eyes off of her, 
like just glued until he walked past her. You see where his eyes move to as well as he's like analyzing Maria. She appears in what James thought was the special place. You look just like her. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that scene. Even like the, the same dialogue and then the new lines, uh, just it all works together so well. So we met Maria. There it is. Uh, I, I really, really enjoyed that uh, performance because this was one of the things I was uh, curious about was uh, how they were going to have uh, Maria sound and, and act because we'd seen a little bit of her and it uh, she kind of came across as it had this feeling of timidness to her, uh, which felt interesting and a, and a little bit different. And I think that was more of just bad trailer representation because that scene just immediately sells you on who Maria is. We didn't get the, I'm not your Mary. <laughs> I'm not your Mary. James, what are you doing? She sounds so similar though, She's incredible. And she went, anyway, my brain immediately was just like, anyway. <laughs> And that's where we'll leave it for today, anyway, uh, on the pier with Maria. So we now have a companion with us who's going to show us a romantic place where lovers might call a special place. Uh, so we'll be making our way down from Rosewater Park uh, into this side of Silent Hill. And I'll be very, very excited to explore it next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Silent Hill 2 Remake. And I'll see you then. Are you okay? We can stay for a while if you want.